Um, why don't we start, I guess, in human order a little bit. Extended producer responsibility. Um, don't assume extended producer responsibility is going to help you with marine. Uh, if you look at extended producer responsibility countries, we mentioned Europe has most extended producer responsibility. They're number 18 on the list for marine debris. We're number 20. They have no better data on marine debris than we do. They're, in fact, they're worse than we are on marine debris. So don't think that's going to help you. Um, California has proposed proposed EPR in the state of California Cal Recycle proposed it 10 years ago. It hasn't progressed at all. The um, there are brand owners the most are the, the most impacted by those that potential legislation. You need to get them to weigh in. You need to have their input. Uh, they're the ones that pay for it. But don't assume it's going to help you on on marine debris. Um, the other impacted, highly impacted community by extended producer responsibility is the waste management industry and the recyclers. In many of these countries, many of these places, it makes recycling a monopoly. So um, that has big impacts on... We, we just became a one is already a monopoly. We are a monopoly. <laughs> well, it, it's okay. a monopoly by the state. It's a state-owned monopoly. State state monopoly. monopoly, okay. Well, it's another impacted community, but the other part of that is jobs. I mean, if you think that the that brand owners are going to come in and, and, and uh, if someone thinks they're going to come in and cover the cost of everything and not control the way the system runs, that's going to create a no, to, totally another debate. Okay, that's EPR. Let's move okay, on to so um, go on to bottle bills. We don't have a position on bottle bills. They, yeah. we, we don't. Our members are not in polyethylene PET, so we don't have a position on that. Uh, plastic bags. Um, the Another thing to consider on plastic bags is the alternative paper bags. If you drive up the use of paper bags, the impact of that is, is much greater. The um, life cycle data shows that paper bags actually have a higher impact on the environment, higher greenhouse gas emissions, higher energy use, et cetera. So you've got to keep that in mind and could be incentivized. I think in California, we've seen a dramatic decline in um, the collection of the other kinds of film. The other kinds of film make up more than 70% of the material. The retail bags are about 30% of the material. So eliminating that recycling infrastructure could end up with plastic, all that other wrap back in your material recovery facility. You have to be very careful about that. Um, EPS, again, I mentioned that we've seen litter go up in places where, where EPS bans were adopted, the littering of the alternatives. The key LA Beautiful did a study on the biggest factors in impacting a person's littering behavior. Their perception of the biodegradability of that thing in their hand is the biggest factor impacting their, their littering. And um, California, California's water board looked at using bans as an approach to reduce trash in their waterborne trash policies. They rejected bans on certain materials because they knew it would drive up. They saw the data on the drive up and litter of alternatives. So, uh, and the alternatives, a lot of this is misleading on the EPS bans because the alternatives are neither recyclable nor compostable in your facilities. And if you're not recycling and, re and composting it, all you're doing is driving up greenhouse gas emissions, driving up waste, and driving up other impact categories that I mentioned before. Um, it's a totally misleading approach. Um, what else do you have on there? PCR requirements PCR are requirements. in your favor. Well, PCR requirements, you know, the, I think you have to be careful about the applications you put requirements Absolutely. into. It has, to, it has to be appropriate. If you put it into food grade containers, you, you can end up with some major unintended consequences because people are going to have to put this stuff through very specific. You can make food grade material back out of plastic. The challenge is you got to clean it back up, use a lot of water, use a lot of heat, etc., and that could be could be totally driving uh, cost. Post-consumer recycle content. So you know, while Victor is correct, we need more markets. We need to we need to do more on that. We are doing more on that. Um, you need to be very careful about the markets. They need to be the right markets Absolutely. for PCR because you can you can uh, cause some problems. Would you would you support us joining the new plastics economy? The um, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not familiar enough with what a state would have to do under joining the new plastics economy. So I, I don't. No position on that. Okay. But it sounds like one theme, get back to you. One, one theme that I think we'd encourage you to join RAP and communicate to the, to the residents of Rhode Island 
that those bags and film can be bought back at the grocery store and, and recycled. Absolutely. Um, 